cicadas are gonna be bad. I wish there was a plant to keep them away, right? <laughs> it's like Christmas. Ah! Oh, look at there. Part of shipping damage. Yay, yay. I'm giving y'all my good side there. Sorry. Oh my goodness, these poor little babies. Whew. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, Greenhouse Girl. Good evening, everybody. It's Corey with Peachtree Farm and Greenhouse, and I have boxes. 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 Uh, this is unboxing number three for this coming spring and summer flowers. I've already showed you all the perennials that have came in. I have begonias, lemongrass, and can't forget uh, Miss Piggy. I know she's a perennial, but I can't help it. We have more flowers in. I will unbox them and reveal what we have got in today. But first, I'm going to move all these perennials back here so that we can have table space to pot our flowers. And eventually these will be coming out uh, to the front of the greenhouses anyways. So let's go. As I showed you, I have moved some of the perennials. I have to get these unboxed. Unfortunately, I have to go to the funeral home this evening. So I'm trying to get them out of the box so that I can go visit a friend of ours who lost her brother so i need to get these done so i'm going to let you all unbox with me here i probably will struggle a little bit because i bet once again i forgot my knife so we'll do the best we can so dumb for not bringing my knife. Yowzer. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why is it so complicated? Okay. We got some tags. Thank goodness. Alright. First. Uh oh, this is your citronella. This is all citronella here. We ran out of this quick. And you guys didn't start buying it until you realized that you needed it. <laughs> Which is fine. But I do recommend this year, if, uh, if you had mosquitoes bad last year, go ahead and get it when you're getting your flowers. You can mix it in with your flower arrangements also and it looks it looks good as a filler even you can put them in your pork patio pots and then you don't have to worry about it we had the one fall out had to go around yep that one's not gonna make it all right box one down that was the small box Lesson learned on forgetting the knife, right? Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Geraniums, oh no. I had a plug fall out. That's just lovely shipping, right? Okay. Where'd you come from? There you are. You got your geraniums. So excited. I bet. Oh, these are hot pink. We had actually a, like a coral salmon color last year. So this will be interesting. Some of them broke off. That's okay. I ordered extra this year because geraniums are very popular. see what color this is. This is still hot pink. And I'm going to imagine the rest of them are hot pink. Well, we've got one hole missing there. So, here's one from the other side. This is the stinky part about shipping. For the most part, they, they're okay. For the most part, anyway. Sometimes they look a little rough, but my good old chemical guy, 
he knows what to do to make them happy. Stuff them back in there, and there we go. But we are missing quite a few in this pink. Well, there's one. It's damaged just a little bit, but we're gonna try to nurse it back to life. This is medium red dark. This is your favorite geranium right here. Oh, these are all red. They're my favorite too. It's not just you all. I love them. But I do love red. Look at here, I had one fall on the ground. And I have no idea who he belongs to. I'm going to assume that it's pink since we had so many missing in the pink. I don't think we had any red missing, which is great. I'm just trying to put them all on the table. So that I can get these last two boxes open. Okay, I'm running out of space, as you can see. It doesn't take long to fill these tables, but oh man, these are a mess. Okay, we're gonna have to go over here to where I'm going to set them because shipping was not very nice to these geraniums. So here we go. As you can see, I mean, there's even one turned upside down. This makes me really sad. So evidently, shipping didn't see, but it plainly says this side up. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a mess. So y'all wonder how they come to me? This is it right here. Sometimes it's not easy, sometimes it is. This color is called violet. So let's try to do our best and put these plugs back in the holes and pray to God, <laughs> literally that we will have violet in here. I just wanna show in detail how these came. See, there's not even any, hardly in that spot. And then that one is sideways. Crazy. Oh my goodness, I didn't know what I was getting into, but this is, this is a mess. Yeah. This is pitiful. Oh my goodness. Oh. Stay tuned, I gotta take pictures. So I had to document in pictures how shipping brought these to us. Sometimes they'll do something about it, but sometimes they won't. Sometimes it's just, you get what you get when you uh, deal with FedEx. So we'll see. It's worth a shot to take a picture, but when they come to you like this, it's pretty sad. I'm pretty heartbroken right now. Cause that's not what you wanna start with for sure. And some of these are just torn to pieces. I don't even know how. You can make something out of some of these. Wow. Well, this went from a happiness of getting shipments of flowers into, I'm really disappointed, but uh, as I say, we'll get over it. It's part of it, right? Okay. Maybe. It shouldn't be. <sighs> Y'all are here for the good, the bad, and the ugly. You can see, as I was saying, most of the time where everything's good to go, but sometimes stuff happens. Here comes Micah. Wow. Good grief. I mean, they're like falling
going out into my hand. And that says more salmon. It's hard to see, they're kind of wet. Oh boy. Not a good day, but I gotta get ready. So we're gonna wrap up this unboxing of sadness and we'll, we'll catch back up with you when we are potting these because it's gonna be soon. See ya.